All right, we have a great question from Stavros, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, around local search. The question is, what ways do you use for ranking on Google Maps, especially when competitors paid ridiculous amounts of citations? Any specific ways to rank higher or it the only way by having the same citations? Uh, Darren Shaw at Weisspark did a, a presentation at a, you know, a, a event once and he, he shared the slides on um, SlideShare if you ever want to look at it uh, around sort of how, how citations at some point plateau out. It's the law of diminishing return. More citations doesn't mean necessarily higher rankings. There's a, there's a point where it stops, right? So, so there's, there's some positive news for you. Um, if you're taking notes right now, you're going to focus around four specific areas. I know that we've mentioned this in other, other videos, Chase, so I don't want to be too redundant, but, <coughs> but here's, here's basically what we're going to look at. One is making sure you're in the major databases, you know, for your industry and, and in general. So databases include InfoGroup, Factual, Axiom, Locallys. You can do that pretty easily and affordably as a local business through Moz Local. There's other vendors as well that will kind of lock you into a monthly fee that you don't need. Moz Local is sort of an annual, get it in there and then they manage your data for you to keep it accurate. These databases, these data aggregators will, um, will actually sell your information to web directories. So if you're not in them, there's a chance that your information could be inaccurate or not even being pulled. So just by being in those databases alone, it's going to help you to get into a lot of the, the business listings that you, you otherwise couldn't have. So that's number one is, is the data aggregators. Number two is local landing page. If your local landing page is more helpful than the local landing page of your competitors, the local landing page that you're putting in is the URL in your Google My Business listing and in your Yelp listing and in your um, Apple Maps and in all the different places that you're syndicating your, your, your name, address, phone number information, um, then you have, a, you have a fighting chance. A lot of, a lot of larger brands can't scale. You know, I'm trying to do what I mentioned earlier for, for 3,400 locations. It's really hard to create, you know, hyper-local, um, unique content at scale for larger brands. So as a small business, you have a competitive advantage. You can shoot some videos on site and, and ask customers for video testimonials. You can do fun, personal things that really show how authentic you are as a local business owner. So there's some things that you can do on your local landing page that will crush the competition. You can have more hyperlocal images, um, you can do 360, the Google guys that uh, are, are licensed to do this, um, do a virtual tour for a couple hundred bucks. You know, can, you know, can you imagine if I went to a client that's got 3,400 locations and I said, hey, I want you to do a $200 360 video for all your locations. They laughed me out of the room. But as a small business, you can do that. You can actually have them upload that video through their, their account in, in your Google My Business profile and then use that video on your page or that, that, that 360 experience on your page. Um, so that's number two is local landing page. Number three, you already mentioned citations. How do you beat them if they're you know, getting um, more citations at, at scale? Well, most of the competitors are, are doing it through citations that don't matter as much. They're, they're doing it through channels and, and sites that don't get any traffic. So um, I've seen local business owners with less citations do better than those that have more by being more focused in their citation building. So after you've gone through search engines and navigation engines and social local, Facebook, Foursquare, uh, et cetera, um, and um, we'll just say um, industry citation, there's there's local, right? So industry is if you're in if you're in law, you're gonna be in lawyers.com and Avo and Justia and Confirm Law and all those major law directories that do get traffic and send referral traffic your way. That name, address, phone number is going to matter a lot more there than it is across Hot Frog or Merchant Circle or, you know, crap SEO directory dot info, right? So I think if you're more focused after you've gone through that that base of, of primary citations and, and search engines, navigation engines, and social local, it's going to be around, you know, finding your neighborhood chamber of commerce, the neighborhood city directory, maybe even working with other websites that are specific to your area, local bloggers. Um, you know, anything that's that's really specific to your city, neighboring businesses. And how do you do that? How do you how do you go to a neighboring business and be like, hey, can you mention me on your website? Uh, the way to do that is actually by doing local events. So I, I'd used attorneys as an example in the past. One of our attorneys did um, a blood drive. He did a free CPR class. He did a, you know, a, a free thing to help 
uh, kids and schools and build backpacks for Christmas and all sorts of really cool things that that can add to your event markup that go in the you know the the search result is is really good rich um, snippets as well as give you an excuse to go to your neighbor and say you know hey we're doing an event can you can you put some money into it and help us they're going to say no because everyone's cheap oh no problem can you participate uh, they're going to say no because they're too busy well look if you can't if you can't donate to it and you can't participate will you at least mention it on your website so that we can try to get more people to contribute and they're going to kind of feel guilty because they've said no twice <laughs> so on the third one third time's a charm most of the time you're going to get a good response rate and they'll say sure we'll mention it well great we have it mentioned on our local page um you know for you know if, if you're multi-location point to that that local page so that your your people can learn more about your visitors can learn more about the event and where it is name address phone number um you know and and get all the info to be able to participate so if you go to these local businesses who are already in the area let's say you get 10 of them to do it google crawls to those 10 pages sees that they're actually local businesses in that area that are already in their database and they know they're genuine lo local now you've you've got a way to really crush the competition because you you did something the big guys are never going to be able to do they're never going to be able to go to their neighboring businesses and and you know get name address phone number mentioned like that so i think that's one one way to really crush them on the citation side of things that's focused around industry and hyper local um i, I think that's that's what i've seen um struggling businesses do to to best the big guys and the, the guys who are paying a lot of money.